What should we put for the name? You can just put squad. Yeah, yeah you can squad. Oh, squad. Squad! Squad! <laughs> squad! 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 Why did you click? Why did you click okay? <laughs> you suck. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Okay. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Squaw! 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 I didn't know who that was. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Squaw. Wow. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. Mm -hmm. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the st street. The streets become increasingly spicy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I need water, John. I need water. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Squaw, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations, where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on, going on about, Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college! Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. <sighs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I packed up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wanted me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Oh, nerd. I mean, hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come into the class while I was spacing out. I looked around and realized that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in! Oh gosh, she's everywhere. Hey, hello. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> You're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. No, what? Well, that you could come to my club. Do it. There is no way I'm going to your club. <gasps> yeah, wow. tell them. Oh, Mimi. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Literature club. Oh, oh, literature. Boring. How She's old more is she? fun than that. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to anime club. Little fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring in a new member. Oh, what a lie! Why'd you do that? Wow. She set you up. Mm -hmm. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> cupcakes. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> don't, is... don't make promises you can't keep. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> 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 Look, 
welcome to the Donkey Donkey Subscribers Club! Here's your cupcake! Yeah! And free book! Yeah! Now, your first assignment is... You're not gonna join our club? <laughs> oh, you changed your mind? Yay! I knew you'd join! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I... <laughs> dejected... Story. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Dejectedly. Right. I dejectedly yeah. follow Sorori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sorori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Why did she like that? Everyone, the new member is here! Ah, uh, hell nah, I told you not to call me a new member. Welcome oh, to the Literature man. Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. It's infectious. Mm. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, uh, squaw. No surprise. <laughs> Stop! You did not use that voice! <laughs> <laughs> My boy Jigsaw is in the club. <laughs> a squaw. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. No talking. <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls! Oh, <laughs> what are you yeah. looking at? Not you, if girl. If you want to say something, say it! Uh, so, uh sorry. <laughs> Natsuki. Dang, the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki. This one I don't recognize. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey. It's, it's Luca. So I heard you're not subscribed to the channel. Um... Could you maybe, uh, I don't know, subscribe for me? Uh, I mean, I'm sorry if that's too much to ask. I don't have to, but I would really like it if you did. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one that made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Uh, don't say things like that. Yuri appears to be comparatively more mature and timid. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with the people with sorry and not so cool. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, not sorry. No. <laughs> ah, well, it's nice to meet you both. <laughs> and it's, it sounds like y'all already know Monica, is that right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, <laughs> Kermit! Here again, Squaw! Kermit the Frog? <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. We do not know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. <laughs> oh, sounds to me you like Monica. Come sit down, Squaw! We need room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica! Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Oh. Yes! Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes <gasps> decorated to look like little cats. Oh, that sounds so good. Wow. The whiskers are drowned. <laughs> The whiskers are drawn with ices and drowned. little pieces of chocolate. <laughs> we we'll used to make ears. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> oh, I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Just hurry and take one. Tari grabs one first, then I'll Monica. Nom, 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 nom. I follow. It's delicious. Nom, 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 nom. I turn to the cupcake around in the fingers. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances at me in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I don't know. <laughs> what else would she be doing? I finally bit down. <laughs> the icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Damn, this is bussin. Thank you, Natsuki. I put my own twist in it, guys. I, yeah, I yeah. like it. We, we, hey, you yeah, create perfect. your own dialogue. Holy, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? I don't know. Made them for you or anything. I thought you technically did. Sorry, said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you, you know. You 
dummy. All right, I, I gave up the Natsuki weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I didn't know you had to ask permission to have a tea set in the classroom. <laughs> Very dangerous. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Don't oh, let God. yourself get intimidated. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not, no. It's salted. Yuri looks away. Uh, I meant that, like, you know, something baka. <laughs> I, I believe you. I believe you. Monica raises no. an eyebrow, then smiles at me. What made you consider the <laughs> literature club? I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically Alex. dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined many clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so that is okay. Don't be embarrassed. Ah. <laughs> we, can't we, can't we can't have to. Right at home. Okay. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. <laughs> Monica, I'm surprised. <laughs> How can we decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Were you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, uh, you know. <laughs> To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity about how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I, pers I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. It encourages others to get into literature. Then I'm fulfilling that dream. <laughs> Monica really is a great leader. Uh -huh. Yuri also does in the argument. <laughs> agreement. Argument. Uh -huh. agreement. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's trying to cause Not drama out of nowhere. Oh, Squaw, what kinds of things do you like to read? Oh, God. Well. Have you ever read a book before, Squaw? <laughs> Hello, my name's Levi, and I will be your substitute for subscribe class today. For our first lesson, we're learning why it is important to subscribe. Well, it's because when someone asks you to subscribe, you do it. And if they end up asking again, I'll have no choice but to have Alex sacrifice all the things you know and love forever. Anyways, that's all we have time for today. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Considering a little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. <laughs> Venga! Venga! <laughs> I'll mutter quietly to myself, half joking. <laughs> Natsuku's head suddenly. Natsuku! <laughs> anyway, what about you, Yuri? My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing. Telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally as impressive. Damn, that's crazy. She's <laughs> really passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid as the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the time of the way of the rise, light up. <laughs> Are you chanting a magic show? <laughs> Go for it. I don't think you read that. Like it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's, it came out. It came out one way or the other. We're continuing. We're continuing. I like a lot of things. God, why did y'all choose me to read this long thing, <laughs> Because you're so good at it. Like, hey, right? it seems well, where'd that over. confidence go? Like, come on. Yeah, I'm like a kid like, that you guys don't want to pick to read. <laughs> you're the one that tried to hide. Like, you didn't put your hand up and we went, yeah. mm, light. <laughs> I definitely grasp something I can't relate in the minimal level. Barely grasp that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? <laughs> have expected that Yuri. A <laughs> Yoda? Or someone as gentle as you. <laughs> I guess you could ask. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Why's that? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Uh. <laughs> Give that back! Don't say it at all. Fine, fine. Whatever. 
you have riding experience too, Yuri? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening with you, Monica? Oh, Maybe if you uh, share some of your work, uh, you can set an example and uh, help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Monica's going through changes. Monica's not oh, being dear. herself. I guess it's time for some Yuri. Oh, no! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's not the Where lie. did you grab <laughs> that oh, word from? We all sit in silence for a moment. Oh, yeah. I have an idea, everyone. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, hold on. There's still one problem. Eh, what's that problem? Oh my god. <laughs> I never said I would join this club! <gasps> no, <sighs> Sorry, may have you. <laughs> no. Sayori! My name is Sayori! Okay, okay, Sayori. Sayori! You haven't convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I lose mm. my train of thought. All four girls <gasps> stare back at me with them dejected eyes. But, but. Pick a personality, Sora! <laughs> never! <laughs> never! <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I thought we had something special. I'll never forgive you for this, Squaw. I'm so defenseless against these girls. If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Pervert. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh. Ah. The girls' ah. eyes light it up. Delightful. Yes, I'm so happy. And that makes it official. <laughs> Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. I think that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Scanning. <laughs> I look forward to seeing how you express yourself humanly. Bring me the all spark. <laughs> <laughs> Home together? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Sorry, you know, I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for the clubs. Sure, might as well. Oh, yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, of ah. course. That thing, Monica. <laughs> Chucky. <laughs> Chuck. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature cl li 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 club? club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Pick a word oh, you think your favorite club member will like. Okay. It's me, right? I'm oh. your favorite. Uh, I'm your favorite. Oh, oh, right. No, 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 no. Since Pit okay. the goblin. It's me, Pit Jackson goblin. Light. Okay, we're gonna go back and forth picking Five. words. How about that, right? Oh, Alright, Levi, you go first. Alright. Pink. Uh, pink. Yeah, we're gonna pick pink. Pink. Uh -huh. Okay. This is extraordinary. Or <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Explode. Yeah. Raindrops. Lollipop. Hi again, squad. Oh, oh. <laughs> Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Sayori told me that you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too? I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori! Uh, uh, me? Uh, no, not really. Don't be shy. Ooh. It's really nothing. It's so weird, you're my brother. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Yeah, what is it? They already made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a, a book. <gasps> oh my god. A not... book? No oh, way. You shouldn't have, Yuri. For the literature club? Look, guys. <laughs> didn't want you to feel left out. Ah, oh, left out from oh. reading? You should. Brotherly really love. Well, I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. Oh, thank you so much. Sweet. How to read 101. 
It's a short <laughs> read because I know your attention span is short. And you oh, Roach! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and finish your sentences Wait. now, okay? And Good. we could, you know, talk about it if you want. I can explain it to you. <laughs> How is this girl accidentally being so stupid and cute? <laughs> <laughs> She even put down a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. At, or at all. Yuri, right. thank you. I'll definitely read this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot! What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is gonna mess it up? Are you questioning my judgment? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. 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 That's how life says You read manga, right? Ah. Uh. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes he learns Something to read. Something about manga reader much. <laughs> manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person That's stands. True. Uh, how did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written in your face. Mm. There's a lone volume of manga that meets the stack of Stop arrows. saying it like that! <laughs> Just say manga! Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and then slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I get a closer look at the box she's admiring. Parfait girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. Wow, if you're gonna judge, you can go do it through these glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Squaw. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah, uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. Ooh ah! Wow! 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 How else do you say it? Wow! Wow! Natsuki oh, grabs my arm and pulls me inside of the oh. closet. <gasps> she then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't the chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Ah, uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Uh. Ooh. Oh. Don't mm -hmm. say that! Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll make me feel weird about it! Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her, either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer. Reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin than reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. It looks like it's a bunch of friends in high school. Typical silence. Life of life. Life of life. Life of life. Slice of life. Slice of life. <laughs> God, I'm turning into lights. <laughs> I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for these writing to be entertaining enough to make me up, make up for the lack of plot. What should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all their backstories, and when some of the romance starts to happen, that's really what makes it good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, uh, is it so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. What's that supposed oh, to mean? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, wow. Wow. Natsuki gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. Final form. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. Oh, it's so cute! Guy. Oh, yes. so adorable. Oh. We read on for a few more minutes. I've finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. 
Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't? Well, I really wouldn't know. What do you mean? Don't you share manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Ah, uh, sorry. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? It makes me want to punch them in the face. Yeah. You should punch do it. Them. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So? <laughs> <laughs> okay, why'd you... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Suddenly. Did you age when reading? <laughs> what happened? That's why he doesn't Suddenly, read. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. It took him 10 years laughing. to finish chapter one of that manga. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minora is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her, since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh, Oh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter! Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express into words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little myself. Are you all ready with today's poems? Okay, so I... I think that's where we're gonna stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, when they see our poem. <laughs> when they see our poem, I wonder what it's gonna be like. Will they like it? It's gonna be about nightgowns and, and what was it, lollipops? Um, we'll lollipops, yeah. raindrops, we'll you know, death. Murder. Yeah, your basic teenage poem. <laughs>